Trumpers will prepare to separate and deploy their main parachute. There you have the high flying black and gold of your United States Army Parachute Team, the Golden Knights. Mr. Charlie Hiller, the former team leader of the Eagles Aerobatic Team and parachute manufacturer, Mr. D. Snyder, exchanged the first baton in 1958. It was then believed that two jumpers in free fall could not possibly make contact. The parachutes used by the Golden Knights are flexible wing gliders constructed of a lightweight ripstop nylon. These parachutes have an inherent forward airspeed of up to 22 miles per hour. To turn left, the jumper will pull down on his left steering line. To turn right, the jumper simply pulls down on the right steering line. As these jumpers near the ground, they will pull down on both steering lines simultaneously for the safest and softest possible landing. At 1,000 feet, the jumper does what is called a wind penetration check, gauging his speed and distance across the ground. He then flies a downwind leg, a base leg 90 degrees to the target. He then faces into the wind for his final approach, Makes some noise as he brings it in for a dead center landing. Not to be outdone by the first jumper. Watch as the next jumper brings it in to the target area. This jumper is flying the United States Army flag. Makes some noise as he brings it into the target area. Once again, there you have the high-flying, black and gold of your United States Army Parachute Team, the Golden Knights. Just as you may have guessed, these jumpers are faced with a unique situation, a traffic jam in the sky. These jumpers must gain vertical separation to allow for individual approaches into the target area. This is accomplished by pulling down on the front part of the parachute, spiraling down at speeds in excess of 60 miles per hour. This enables the jumper to set up a landing pattern much like you will see aircraft.